I extend this message to all African youth. The fight we are engaged in is not just for Burkina Faso. It's a fight for the whole of Africa. It's time for us to wake up and create our own El Dorado. It's possible to achieve this here. Get to work, and I believe it's possible. Welcome to Africa Info Hub, an educational channel dedicated to presenting Africa to the world through a renewed perspective on its rich history. Today, we are celebrating this day in a somewhat unique context, as mentioned by our predecessors. This context of conflict, a conflict that we regard as nothing other than the violent and barbaric manifestation of imperialism, neo-colonialism, and slavery, seeks to impose itself today, what we have termed terrorism. But as they have said, we called upon the youth at one point to combat this scourge, and the youth responded massively. Today, several young individuals are enlisted as volunteer defense personnel, VDP, and others are waiting. We can see them in the streets of our cities. This warms our hearts, and we dare to believe that the youth have understood why we must fight. Just as our ancestors fought to bequeath us the lands we now call Burkina Faso, we too must fight to leave something for our children. If God has ordained that our generation faces this battle today, it is because He knows we have the capacity to succeed. And I am confident that we can all work together to achieve it. The battle is not just on the military front. It is much deeper. It entails changing mindsets. Our generation might have grown up in a system that has molded us and is difficult to change, but not impossible. Perhaps some of us still possess certain characteristics whose impact we are unaware of. To quote an author, no one is so wicked that they cannot change their heart if they are properly taught. I believe each one of us can change. In this sense, it is inherent that we forgive one another when someone is not on the path we hope for. But at the same time, let us guide them toward the right path. Because the lethal weapon of imperialism today is manipulation, and the youth are its target. Our country, or I should say Africa, is predominantly young. Manipulation is born amongst us. And I invite the youth to always seek accurate information and to think about our homelands throughout Africa. If our forebears left us a land we found, we must leave better lands for our children. Today, we are gathered to discuss the issues of the youth, make promises, look ahead, and face challenges. I believe the parents and the godmother have set challenges for you. But I think the challenge goes beyond that. Because it is necessary for the youth to understand that at the executive level, we are taking measures. But we also need to sensitize and communicate with you so that together we can overcome the challenges before us. Why do I say this? When we listen to stories, we realize that our forebears fought similarly to reach where we are today. Just as the minister mentioned, instructions have been given to create a unique fund that can support youth entrepreneurship. We won't ask you to start from scratch, but there will be a minimum to support you. Alongside this, we recently expanded tax policies for young businesses, which aims to assist you in the initial years to prevent certain difficulties. Furthermore, we place great emphasis on vocational training. One of the major reforms in our country is in this field. On the university level, it's not just about getting a degree and seeking employment. It's about learning skills and being able to work. We aim to redirect a significant portion of the youth towards vocational employment. And we plan to establish many centers for vocational training, as our country possesses ample resources. We are in the process of reforming and reorganizing our society. We are revising many texts to provide our nations with what they deserve. That's why we are launching various initiatives. 
such as the Zone Asperger Company, to exploit and market our precious resources. We're trying to modernize and make conditions better for our youth. I encourage you not to be afraid to take risks in entrepreneurship. We have expanded tax policies for young businesses. It's a message to you, the youth. Initiate something. Don't be afraid to take risks. If you don't take risks, you won't experience the pleasure. Take the plunge. It's challenging, often very challenging. You'll stumble and you'll often find yourself on your knees. But as some would say, when you fall, pray, push on your palms, rise and keep walking. Don't stop. And even those with jobs, don't limit yourselves to employment alone. Invest and develop something alongside it. Our generation grew up in a complex system. We were taught that having a job and sitting in an office, waiting for the salary at the end of the month was all we needed. But your salary should help develop something else. We are not just military. I am an entrepreneur myself. Our generation has been molded by a system, perhaps a difficult one to change, but not impossible. I wish to express my gratitude to the young individuals who have come from all over Africa to support their brothers and comrades in Burkina Faso. We thank you and wish you a pleasant stay in Burkina Faso. We hope you will return in peace. I extend this message to all African youth. The fight we are engaged in is not just for Burkina Faso. It's a fight for the whole of Africa. It's time for us to wake up and create our own El Dorado. It's possible to achieve this here. Get to work, and I believe it's possible. Thank you for being here to share in this moment of reflection and exchange. The battle has begun, and it will be long and tough, but not impossible. We believe that soon we will succeed. Thank you very much, for the country or death.